Hey, what's up? This is Todd Smith, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I want to talk about the Roland JD-XA. I've had it for about a few weeks now, and I truly believe this is a monster synthesizer. The JD-XA really brings a lot to the table with its mixture of analog and digital parts. And having the ability to layer either the digital and analog parts in any which way form you want which really gives you a lot of variation in setups, sound design, and ways you can apply the JDXA to your current project. Again, I think the diversity in this machine is very much its strong point. You have your four analog parts, which are 100% analog being fed through an analog filter. They have your basic waves, you know, sawtooth, pulse, triangle, sine, and all that analog stuff you would pretty much expect from any subtractive style synth. You do have some menu diving for the deeper aspect of the analog sounds, some deeper menus, but the majority of the things what you need are very much on the front panel. And once you jump into the digital section, you have virtual analog replications of all the classic, you know, analog stuff. And since it's digital, it actually has multiple forms of sawtooths and pulse and you have more variations of each shape in the digital section. And once you pass all the classic virtual analog shapes, you get into the digital sounds that you can apply to your digital oscillators. These digital sounds are very much like digital presets that you can manipulate and layer. You have 450 of those programs to use within your digital oscillators. If this machine was just a digital four-part machine with just the digital sections, you'd have a lot of variance and a lot of option there. All this added with the ability to do splits. You can map any of the parts to any range on the keys that you want. The analog section can do some really great analog rhythm. You have a boatload of effects to assign per part on this machine. And while the recorder and step recording and live recording doesn't go as deep as some might expect, it definitely has value. And I could see with some time and love, the JDXA could definitely be an all-in-one eight track groove box. You could play a whole tire set from this. Thing. Just having the ability to create either, you know, eight individual parts, pretty much like a groove box having its own lane of recording or just layering one or two parts in the really thick sounds. I really think there's a Pandora's box of music to just explore in this machine and I think it's gonna just keep giving and that's one reason I'm really excited to have it in my studio. I believe the JDXA is something I'm gonna constantly find something new and constantly be able to explore and love. If you owned the JDXA I would love to know your opinion and as always stay positive stay creative support each other and peace.